Okay, Scorpio. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I'm going to start off here with um, Chinese Fortune Cookie Oracle here. All right, so for Scorpio. Property. Property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Okay. And I'm going to use my Chinese tarot deck here. Alright, so for Scorpio, for this upcoming week. Alrighty, dropping cards now. And by the way, um, each sign has a power color, and yours is black. These cards are really slippery on this uh, table here. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. There are air signs, water earth and fire here, the signs that stand out are Aries and Pisces. Some say that too that, that one of these cards would represent Gemini, so in a way it's possible, but Aries and Pisces stand out more. Okay, so I'm just looking at the cards here for a second. So you have uh, two sevens and two threes. So the number three is about love and wisdom, good fortune, and uh, celebrating also in groups, you know. And um, the number seven is a spiritual number, and it's about intuition and control. And I'm sorry, just a moment. Okay, so you start off here with the magician. And the magician is telling you, if you believe it, you can do it. Um, it says to have confidence. And uh, looks like you have skill, concentration. Just it says time to take action. Just put it, have confidence and put something to action. It says you have all the right stuff that you need. And I'm, this cat, I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry about that. I think she thinks I'm talking to her when I'm recording these videos or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so. Yeah, the, I was talking about if you believe it, that you can do it and um, you know, everything that you need. So I'm going to go on here to the three of swords. So for some of you, in the position that this card is in, um, I don't know if you're having some sorrow, some disappointment, or if there is some type of deception, maybe you feel like you were stabbed in the back, some of you. Or for a couple of you, it might, might be a love triangle. And if that's, so your heart might be healing from something. 
And if that's not the case for you, then it is showing that maybe health is a concern right now for you, or maybe um, maybe it's on your mind, or I don't know, but maybe get a health checkup, or maybe you're worried about somebody else. I don't know. Um, you would know that. Next up here is the Seven of Swords. And uh, this can be maybe more going on than meets the eye. Um, it can be some trickery, somebody being sneaky, a little dishonest. I mean, there's some betrayal, you know, because you have the Three of Swords here. So for the ones at the heart, you know, it's that there's sorrow, disappointment, or, you know, your heart healing looks like there was some type of betrayal and looks like due to some type of um, dishonesty. And it could also just be embarrassing secrets. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be like trickery or something, but, but uh, most likely if your heart's hurting like that, it's from some type of betrayal. So next up here, this is Seven of Cups. So this here is saying to make a choice. Uh, you might be overanalyzing something. And for some of you, maybe there's just like a lot of opportunities. And so you're uncertain what to do. For others, this can also, this can be about addictions. Some of you might have a lot in your mind. Maybe it's hard for you to focus right now. And uh, it does show limitless possibilities and potential. All right, so next up here is the Nine of Pentacles. And that's financial success. And it's through your own efforts. So it shows this is a near, near future uh, position my goodness, position. So it does show you enjoying the fruits of your labors. Yeah, so it's hard work that, that leads to a nice life. And some of you might be happily self-employed. And um, this also is a card of exploration and travel and trying new things. Next up here is the Eight of Wands. So this can be a sudden burst of activity or excitement, but uh, it shows rapid changes, things moving fast or going fast. So you might have a little bit of stress from too much. Um, can be a little bit of a good stress, you know, maybe the good changes or maybe something, but this also can be travel also. So you have two cards here now that indicate travel or even a move with this one, but if two come up, then some of you are definitely going to travel or thinking about it. <clears throat> and uh, next up here is the Three of Wands. So this does show some initial success on something. It says to keep on planning. If there's not initial success, but that doesn't make sense, then it says just keep planning, keep going, keep moving forward on something. This can also be uh, indicate foreign lands. And since I mentioned travel twice, Looks like some of you might be traveling to a foreign land, and it can also indicate you meeting somebody from a foreign land, or maybe you are of somebody from a foreign land. But it has to do with um, moving forward. Next up here is the Emperor. So with this, this is about structure and discipline and power, leadership, stability. Um, it also shows, shows that maybe it's time to step up and take charge, you know, and or maybe it's showing that you that's what you're doing. Maybe you're stepping up and taking charge. And if you're not, it's advising that. It also says that energies are favorable for a stable path. Also, on a side here, he doesn't doubt who he is, the emperor. So just don't doubt yourself or anything. You know, over here, maybe you're overanalyzing, maybe you have a lot of different choices, different opportunities. I don't know what it is exactly, but just don't doubt yourself. Next up here is the moon. So with this, 
this says to trust your intuition and uh show that some of you might have some psychic abilities and it says to pay attention to signs also try to let go of your fears now this could also indicate a love triangle so over here which i mentioned a love could possibly be love triangle but for someone why your heart's hurting or healing or both here but so somebody definitely looked like there was a love triangle here I'm going to pull a couple little Norman cards here. And of course, the time I have those just sitting there is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> I have reading glasses up. I was wondering where they were, and they're just sitting there the whole time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, with this, this shows to me, when it comes to your reading, there, there was another woman, looks like, involved here. Um, and this could have met this person, or this person is somebody who's social, or is out at, out at an event, or out at gatherings, or maybe this person's out a lot and about, or I don't know, but it has to do with a woman that looks like social. And I don't know if you can hear that cat meowing through the door, but I'm sorry if you can. And uh, all right, you guys, um, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would appreciate it. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. And there's the next video that should be popping up on the screen there. You might want to take a look at it. All right. Thanks a lot.